You know, when you have kids in the house with technology, you're always trying to figure out things that you can do with them. I mean, I remember once I was playing, well, the video game Need for Speed with my son Ian. And he was to my left and I was to the right. And all of a sudden I said, you know, Ian, Ian, watch out, the cops are there. And then I said, oh yeah, you know what? That was a bad parenting moment. Well, when I ran across a story about Sterling Backus, well, he 3D printed something pretty amazing that my son Ian looked at and said, now that's a cool dad. Sterling, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Kim. And then now you 3D printed a Lamborghini? That is correct. Um, we, you can see it behind me here. We uh, were going to build a car and uh, we wanted to use technology um, for building the vehicle. And the way that we figured out to do that was because uh, 3D printing had come so far, especially for home 3D printers, we decided to 3D print the body and a lot of the uh, items that actually go in the car. So how long has it taken you so far? Uh, it's been about a year and a half which journey actually, so far. Which actually isn't too bad because, you know, a real Lamborghini would set you back, what, like 350 grand? Uh, this particular version would set you back about 600. Oh, about $600,000. <laughs> Boy, that's amazing. All right, so how much do you think you have in it as far as materials? We have a $20,000 U.S. budget, and I think we're going to uh, be very close to hitting that. And what kind of materials are you using? Uh, we are using polylactic acid for the body. Um, and then a polylactic acid kind of uh, starts to soften at about 55 centigrade. And so it wouldn't do very well out in the sun. And so what we've done is we've encapsulated it in carbon fiber. And that's going to give us the rigidity and strength that we need for the body not to basically fall off the car. <laughs> Which would definitely be a bad thing, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what happened? So you guys were just like talking around the kitchen table, you and the kids, and somebody said, hey, Dad, let's 3D print a Lamborghini that you saw in Forza? Well, like, like, like you and your son, we were playing uh, Forza Horizon 3. And uh, we'd always get into the Lamborghini Aventador. And finally, my son Xander said to me, do you think we could build one? And I, I've always been a big fan of supercars, and he didn't have to twist my arm too much. And now what, what are you going to do about the engine? The engine's actually out of a, a Corvette, so a 2003 uh, Corvette. It's an LS1. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's uh, linked to a Porsche 996 transaxle. Oh, uh, they gosh. actually make a kit to do that um, in the uh, replica and uh, kit car market. So what is your background? Um, I'm a laser physicist, so uh, classically trained uh, to build lasers, design lasers. My company, KM Labs, here in Boulder, Colorado, i um, the chief scientific officer, and I do basically uh, research on new laser systems that we sell to um, the uh, university system as well as national laboratories. Wow. Okay. So you're a pretty smart guy. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just passionate. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good because, you know, if, if you don't <laughs> like what you're doing, you're not passionate about it, you know, it's not even worth exactly. doing. Exactly. All right. So the car is, did I see 75% complete? About that. And when do you estimate that it'll be done? Um, well, as a car guy, we always say it's never done. <laughs> um, but the, the, when we start taking it around to the local schools to show this STEAM project, um, we're hoping to do that early spring. I love supercars too, just to let you know. I mean, <laughs> you know, and um, we don't, when I'm not driving my G-Wagon, I'm driving my F12 Berlinetta. Oh, nice car. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so uh, where are the kids? Uh, they're waiting over in the garage. Oh, I let's, can bring let's, them forward yeah, let's if you bring like. them in. Okay. Xander? Have a seat. Far side. Amara? Oh, look at how cute he is. Have a seat right here. Look at okay. how pretty she is. So the, these are my helpers. And so how often do they help you? Every single time? Um, no, of course not. They, they have other things that they like to do as well. 
Um, they have about a, I don't know, 10 or 20 minute uh, attention span <laughs> for the project. Which is pretty good. You know, I commend you for that. Okay. Yeah, yes, yes, right. Um, so they, uh, uh, they've been in various things. Uh, uh, Xander's done some welding on the car. Amara has helped a lot with gluing the panels together and also uh, putting the carbon fiber encapsulation on. So she's learned a lot about chemistry, uh, physics, um, engineering. Both of them are uh, doing, doing really well in that area. And so let me ask the kids, are, are, you, uh, are you the best dad ever? Am I the best dad ever? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, best dad Definitely. Ever. <laughs> well, I think you're one cool dad. And keep us uh, posted on the progress of the car. And I'd love to, if you ever brought it down to Phoenix, we have to go for a ride. That would be awesome. Thank you, Kim. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, STEM products don't necessarily mean just books, right? And little robotics. Imagine if you could build a car with your son or daughter, how incredible would that be? You see, and it's these kind of stories that really make me so passionate about technology. And if you have a story that you'd like to share with me, hey, just head over to the website. There's a link at the bottom of every single page that says contact us. Hey, thanks for watching. Now a few things. Don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more digital know-how, check out all these other great links.